All right, guys, welcome back to GeoGuessr Explained. Today, I'm joined by one of, if not the best, Russia players in the world, Finbar. How's it going, man? Uh, pretty good. Yourself? Well, thank you. And uh, Finn recently released a document all about different Russia metas that were previously kind of hidden from the community before. Um, and they are all available publicly now, so you can go and learn a bunch of stuff about Russia meta and seasonal coverage and that kind of thing uh, and antennas. But uh, today, I'm going to be playing some and Finn's going to be helping me. We'll play quite a bit, of few, quite a few games. And uh, yeah, I'm practicing Russia, obviously, for the World Cup. Hopefully this can help a bunch of other people as well, though. So it uh, should be fun. Any uh, Anything to say as we get in here, Finn? Uh, no, this should be fun. Yep. Uh, yeah. E Z. Okay, red car here. So red car. I mean, I will do a bit of explaining, but I'll also kind of just like be guessing quickly as well. But red car, you do get it like quite often in. So this is the red brake light. If you, in case you didn't realize, uh, this is only found in like Penza Kazan area through here. Like they're the two main oblasts where you see it. Um, is it like slight? There's some other ones here where you can occasionally get it too, oh. right? The pets for yeah, but very yeah. little. Mm -hmm. And then it starts again in Chumen, right? I believe it's yeah, Chumen. east of the city. Yeah. yeah, east of Chumen, and then it goes up into the northern states, uh, the northern oblast here, and then it also continues over across. Omsk, Omsk mostly doesn't have it, but then it kind of goes all the way down to Irkutsk and then finally ends off in Ulan Uda. So it's a really useful meta. It kind of breaks down a lot of the Generation 4 into 2. Um, and this, I thought, also like kind of like almost springish looking tree. So I immediately thought we might be in like Kemerovo area here, maybe. Uh, the healiness would also fit. So I think that would be my guess. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, it is spring coverage, which with red car will be Kemerovo or downtown Krasnoyarsk. Mm -hmm. Most of the Kemerovo coverage is rural. And I mean, this is kind of rural. We're not mm. like in the city, mm. but like usually when it's urban, you send Krasnoyarsk. But I think this is fine to send Kemerovo. Okay. It's a bit more open. Yeah, I mean, I'm so. just looking in the distance. I don't see any more houses there, or not many. Maybe there are some, but it seems like it might be a smaller town. So I feel like it. I feel like it might be good here. So I don't know. Could just go in this yeah. town, like I had it. One of these ones, maybe yeah. a bit further down, if it's uh, a bit hillier. We'll see. Okay. Nice. nice. Uh, further down, it goes more into summer coverage, so. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll go state streak here, country streak off, and we run one. Okay, next one here. So this feels immediately kind of Altai to me. So that's like these uh, states here. Um, forgive me if I say states instead of Oblast. Um, and <laughs> there's also a similar looking road like south of Cheetah. And actually, antennas consult this. I mean, initially, I actually think it might look more Cheetah side. Um, that might be my opinion here, so this road kind of going down here. So firstly, we can check road angle. Road angle would fit for this road here. Um, can also fit for this one. Actually, they all kind of, they all kind of run like that. Uh, but then you can check the antenna. And the antenna, like, has this little left peak here, I would say. And so that would make us this side. Um, I could be wrong about that, though, because it, it's only slightly left there. So, uh, which one do you think it is, Finn? Yeah, I think, I think you're on it right now. I mean, it could be Cheetah, but I mean, the road angle is just so good for here, and it looks more like here to me. Right. But it could be the road side to Cheetah. So then we'd be like somewhere here, I imagine, and then we can confirm with hills. So, yeah, we do have hills both sides, but they're kind of smaller, and that's kind of what we see here. You can see slight indentations on the map, so yeah, nice. Okay, next one here, we got Blurred Antenna, Blurred Antenna. Um, we're getting around that I know so far, but surely there'll be some some for that Finn knows and I have zero clue on soon. Uh, but Blurred Antenna, like, is really common east of Cheetah, or, like, you only, on the black car, because you can see this is the black car, only found, only Blurred Antenna east of Cheetah. Every black car has Blurred Antenna east of Cheetah, apart from, like, downtown Yakutsk and Magadan, right? Um, and then White Car yeah. will be unblurred, but, and, and that's all, it counts for all of this, but you can also see the blood antenna tons like around uh, Kanti, uh, Oblast, and also like some other places too. Anyway, the, all that to say with this kind of, I mean, I got like a bit of a, uh, a Sakhalin vibe here, but the fact that we're driving along the coast, I mean, pretty much if it's there, I would expect it to be like a different angle, right? So I'm a little confused. Um, I don't think that had a road, no. So. Maybe I'm a bit north of you, maybe. Oh, a bit north. Oh, here we go. Here's the angle. Right. So yeah, uh, and then we can probably just find the 5k because it kind of seems to. 
yeah, go a bit inland. Yeah. So, uh, and we have a railway as well. Oh, true. And yeah, we're going next to the railway, so... Oh, where's the railway, though? Wait, oh, uh, oh it's that it side. I see. On... I see. Yeah. yeah, so that should really help with 5 k here, I guess. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. So it's probably just black click, basically. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Coast East helps a lot there. <laughs> Definitely does. Coast yeah, and, and, and to be honest, a lot a lot of cycling rounds do have coastal cars, so yeah, it's pretty like handy to know. Uh, so no red car. Oh, we do have red car here. Okay, so that helps out. Like the trees are fairly tall here. Like generally speaking, like if you guys get some rush, like when it gets north, the trees do get a lot thinner. Uh, so I'm think I'm expecting this to be a bit like further south for that reason. Um. Okay, and so my main thoughts with the sandy soil, you obviously have to think of near, like, a big river. And there's a lot of that kind of coverage near, so good. so good. But I also get the feeling that this is kind of a bit, like, densely forested for there, maybe. Um, and also, like, kind of dense vegetation on the ground, which may, it may be a bit too far north for that. So I was also thinking Tomsk here, maybe along the river there. Um, I actually may go Tomsk as my main thought, but that's kind of my two, my two cool outs here. But then red car would put us, like, here, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, yeah so I'd go there. I would be east to the river. Uh, yeah, I think you're close enough to the 5k. I thought it was the road north of us, you know. Uh, it could still be County Mansi, but the thinness of the road and this pavement feels a bit more Tomsk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I just also... Like, yeah. It could be the Tomsk spill from County. Mm. There's some more red car in the north of Tomsk because it spills in from County, but... Right, okay. Yeah, and, and one th one of the main things that made me think Tomsk is, like, so much, like, different kinds of little grass here and stuff like that, and very densely grass. I don't know, that's, like, something I've noticed about Tomsk myself, so... I don't know if you agree with that. You'd probably have a better idea, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, like, uh, Siberia has longer grass, so the further east you go, you'll get longer grass, usually. Okay. And it was... Well, we got the... It was got the, the, the last <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I was... I almost thought of sending it, but yeah, it's kind of hard to send because there's one road. <laughs> right, right, right. So that, where does that extend to, actually? Uh, like, that's probably about as far south as it goes, but it, like, it crosses the river north. Yeah, okay. And then, it, like, there's one town there with coverage across the river. Like, there's, like, a there's like a boat bridge that goes across the river. Like oh, a ferry. I see. Yeah, I see, I see. Uh, and then it goes back into County Mansi. Interesting. Okay, next one here we have a white car. You can see the white car kind of peeking through there. Uh, so white car main areas, you see that? Like, there's some, like, oblasts here that have it. Um, you can see it south as well, can't you, a little bit. Um, then you get it a lot in, like, South Chelyabinsk. You have it there. Uh, you have it in this oblast here. Um, does Novosibirsk have it as well? I forget. Uh, yeah, but it will be October coverage. So. Oh, yeah, so, like, very autumn-ish. <laughs> Um, then you also get it very prominently around Primorsky and like this kind of Eastern Russia stuff kind of up to, what is it like a bit like here or something? Svedov's yeah, around there. Svedov Svedovny. Uh, and then what else? And then also on Petropavlovsk, you get it as well. I mean, uh, Kamchatka. So yeah, I mean, firstly here, I noticed we have, uh, like a bunch of like lakeish looking things. So that's quite common to see in in Chelia, although that's kind of a more of a North Chelia thing, I guess. Uh, and then we have a ton of birches, so that, honestly, like, the, the makeup of trees here almost made me want to say it is, like, kind of, like, Chinese border or something like that. So I'm trying to work out what I actually think here. Um, yeah, it, it, it does kind of feel like that to me. I'm, I'm struggling to make it out, because obviously, like, um, it's also a fact that Chelia has a lot of birches as well. And this is kind of dry, which makes it a bit sus. Um, hmm. Kind of between them. Hey, right, well, I... I, uh, uh, I, okay, I'll make my guess here. I think I would go... Just based on how, like, weirdly rural it is, I think I would try something out here. But... I, I'm not really confident on that, so what do you think here? Yeah, it should be a more... It should be the yellow road. We have the, like, highway under construction meta. Oh, that's right. Uh, for the yellow road. Mm. Uh, and then with the hilliness, I would think... Like, some some hills north, I would say, but... Eh. I don't know. I don't know how to region guess the yellow road. It, it will be south of where you are, because that would be black there. Right. Yeah, gotcha. 
Oh yeah. So, okay. We'll go there. Um, and I guess we could even use run angle, but yeah, it should be fine. Uh, and it was there. Very nice. Okay, so actually, I got the 5 hole blast there. I think I had the call out every time. Or at least it was my main, main opinion every time, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I'll head through to the next one, though. Okay, so... A little bit of a harder one immediately, I think. We have the short antenna, so short antenna meta is, like, very powerful in, uh, in Russia because they kind of separate different areas. Now, this is... I think it's actually very B antenna, no? Um, I think it, it will just be just B. B. Okay. If, if, you, if you're if you unsure of which, if there's any smudges in the sky, it will be B type. Right, and we do have a smudge uh, there, so yeah, it's B. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So the very B, so what we mean by this, if, it, if, if the kind of first rung is over on the right side, then it's the A type antenna. If the first rung is over on the left side, then it's the B type antenna. Um, and if, if it's kind of a very thick bold cheer then it would be very b which is also found in particular places but this is just the normal b type which is the most common and the most wide ranging which you can pretty much find anywhere from moscow to like what is it kras noyask so uh yeah. it'll it'll go to kamarovo kras noyask will be very b oh yeah that's right so yeah all the way to kamarovo so a pretty wide range here that you can find it um, and immediately, yeah, the d most difficult round we've had so far by far. Uh, we also have, like, a lot of yellow flowers here, which is kind of something I, I would associate that more with, like, this area, maybe. I feel like you can see it, like, all the way to Kirov, maybe. Like, that's kind of the area I'd be thinking of. Um, and with the B-type antenna, maybe, I, I don't think you get that so much in, in Tver, for example, so maybe I would be considering, like, I'm just trying to think what, what antenna you'd have where... Maybe it's just like Moscow, or maybe it's like, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't think it would be Kirov, maybe, maybe Nizhny or something like that. I might, I might try, uh, what, what else do we have here? Uh, it's a difficult one for me. I think I would just maybe hedge at, uh, if I was playing for points, I would hedge at Moscow here. And because I'm not, maybe I'll go like Ivanovo, Nizhny, Border or something like that. What do you think it is? Uh, okay, well, we have uh, spring coverage here again. Oh, uh, true. Which, with B antenna, is three oblasts, I think, which mm -hmm. would be Sverdlovsk, Moscow, and Kostroma. Mm -hmm. And it, the road doesn't feel particularly Moscow. Mm. Like the, A bit lower quality. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then it doesn't feel particularly Yeka, uh, Sverdlovsk, with right. the yellow flowers, as you were saying, being yeah. more... Tware area, so I think I'd go Kostroma and probably the town of Sh Sh uh, Sharia, Max East. Max the East, Oblast. okay. So my guess was not too bad here. We'll, we'll see if it's right or not, but um, but with the, I guess with the, yeah, the spring coverage, so that's a good one to remember there. B antenna, so just Moscow Oblast itself? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then here, and then Yeka, which is Svetlovsk. I always forget that. Nice, good call. Okay, next one here. Nighttime coverage with the white car. Uh, this immediately gave me like South Russia vibes, just based on like how flat and kind of dry it is. Also, not much vegetation going on here. I actually like take that back. I think this might be the silver car, right? Would that be correct? Uh, this, yeah, I'm thinking it could be the silver car. I'm not certain though. Right. And so if that is right, then I think that's kind of most common, like, is it like a Voronezh Volgorod or um, Saratov Volgorod? I forget. And there's uh, also like Tula as well, right? Yeah, so there'd be Tula, Saratov, Volgograd, Krasnodar, uh, Elista, Astrakhan, and right. Adigia would be the main ones, but a lot of it in Volgograd, yeah. So I would be thinking Volgograd here, um, just based on the dryness and the lack of like trees and everything. Which is something you you know tend to see around this kind of deserty area, right? So maybe that would be my guess. What do you think? Uh, I'm a little bit thrown off by the coverage here being like nighttime. Yeah, I feel is... like I haven't seen it before. It's interesting. Uh, feeling good for Volgograd was maybe thinking more east, like more northeast, like up by Kamishin, like mm -hmm. Petsovo maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not really sure on this round. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, shall we uh, hit it? Yeah, I'm curious to find out where this is, because I'm uncertain. Mmm, Alista. That's Alista. Okay. 
downtown as well. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so not a bad score, but yeah, losing our stage trick, sadly. Next one here. Okay, we have that winter coverage. So for any newer players, the winter coverage tends to kind of like, you can draw like a line here, basically. And that everything south of this contained all the way down to the Caucasus in Generation 4 coverage, so the newer coverage, is basically winter most times. With a few small exceptions, right? So uh, this is like kind of typically what you'll see. Bit of snow on the ground a lot of the time. Very dead trees and everything like that. But also, distinctively, sometimes in these southern oblasts as well, you don't have any birch trees. And so we can see that none of these have white trunks, for example. Um, however, that doesn't necessarily mean you're south. It just means, um, you know, if you saw them, if you saw them, that means you probably wouldn't be there, you know? And we do see them here, actually, in the background. So, yeah. um, I was thinking, like, I'm pretty sure with the uh, snow on the ground, Finn has told me that, uh, uh, is it maybe like a, is it like a Saratov Voronezh, or is it the one states above? I think it's like Saratov Voronezh, right? So... Uh, um, yeah, they'd be the main ones in central Russia. And then all of this, everything south of it will have snow, but these would be like the northernmost snow for the most part. Right. And so, I guess with the birches as well, I'm, I'm thinking Voronezh would be my main call here, but uh, what, what, what do you want to go for? It could be Voronezh. We do have, uh, like, for, uh, if you look southwest, mm -hmm. uh, like, we have this super long grass. Mm. Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, which I would say would probably be more Saratov than Voronezh. It could even be, like, Rostov. Mm. Uh, we have, like, super, like, black soil even. Yeah. Uh, which might be leaning me towards Rostov, but then I guess the birch might make me lean away from it. Yeah. Uh, but the longer grass would be... It, you can get it in uh, Voronezh, but I would say it's more likely to be in Saratov, Volgograd, Rostov. Mm, interesting. Uh, so, I mean, we'll go with your overall call here. What 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 do you think? You're actually leaning um, like a northern Rostov, maybe? Uh, I go northwestern Volgograd. Okay, northwestern Volgograd. Oh, that's what he said. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Go for uh, Ooh, nice. Good guess. Just okay. over the border. Right there. across the border. You got it, though, so fair play. Yep, fair, fair play. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, another one of the same type of rounds here. Very much winterish. You know, we got no car here as well, which is what you'll see most times there. Uh, we actually have... Is that... I thought it was mountains, but it's actually just a big city north there. Um, so, probably guessable, like, probably 5 cable is what I mean. Um, so, we have that long grass again, actually, I've noticed. Uh, yeah. and we also seem to have, I don't think it's birches, actually. I want to see if I can see any. That could be a birch there. It's got a very white trunk. Um, all in all, it's a very similar round to the last one, and we're looking at a big city to our north here, so... I guess, yeah, maybe even, like, trying, like, Saratov here. Um, Volgograd. My, I think Volgograd would maybe even look a bit more dead than this. So, like, yeah. I don't know, it has slight hills as well. I'd probably go Saratov or Voronezh, and I guess with the long grass clue, you know, Saratov here. Uh, I'm a little bit confused here. What is causing the confusion? Uh, nearly could see the license plate, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're quite useful. Because, uh, like, we don't have any snow, right? Right. Which would probably make Saratov and Voronezh quite unlikely. Mm. Uh, and then we don't have any birches like last time. Well, we might have one birch. Right. Uh, the one thing you saw. But... Uh, even though With it's kind of out. Still. Yeah, and like it's probably planted based off of where it is, right? Mm. So it might not be the most trustworthy. Mm. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm thinking Rostov or Krasnodar, mm. maybe? Or mm. uh, Volgograd. Right. Uh, yeah. And then... Yeah. I mean, hill is north, right? Yeah, it is like on... The whole town seems to be on a hill. Yeah, so that, that fits nicely for Rostov. Right, and I mean, so yeah, like, on a river, flash. so, yeah. That would make sense, like, uh, riverbank kind of hill, right? Yeah. Well, and if, they're like all the... rivers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I'm not certain. Okay. Rostov usually has, a, like, an, an antenna or a red car or something, but uh, we don't have it in this range, which kind of concerns me. Right. I'll hit it. 
It was nice. It's washed up nice. I mean, that kind of made sense because it was like all kind of like north of the river, it kind of felt. So, yeah, makes sense. Okay, uh, here we have the A-type antenna, which, uh, yeah, has the kind of bump to the right there. And with this kind of northern vibe, so A-type antenna, you see mostly, it's like Orenburg, Samara, South, and like near Belarus border. And I think this gives me a massive north vibe, just with the uh, kind of greenery of it and kind of pinkish dirt and everything. So I think my main thought would maybe be Sm Smolensk here. Um... Does does that antenna dip into Peskov or not? Uh, it does not, but it does reappear in Leningrad Aprilia. Right. Oh yeah, that's true for small parts. But um, yeah, I think my main thought would be like Smolensk here, then maybe Kaluga or something. Uh, yeah, I like Smolensk a lot here. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we can kind of use is like this region of Russia has very straight roads, so if you line mm. up the compass. We might be able to uh, see if anything lines up. Not really seeing it. Yeah. Looks like Max Life Kaluga has something that lines up. Max Life Kaluga does, yeah. Uh, or is this divided in this part? Okay, okay it's not. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe that just with the angle. But it looked a bit more northern to me, so uncertain. Hmm. I mean, it does fit all in all. I mean, there, it might be actually a section over here that fits maybe like this. Almost did, but that's divided. Okay, so yeah, I guess we should just send this. Um, yeah, I guess uh, any other thoughts here before we send? Uh, no, it should be. Everything kind of checks out for this area. I don't think it's Leningrad, but... Oh, that's okay, Briansk. <laughs> yeah. On a very small The angle's angle. a bit... <laughs> yeah, the angle's a bit deceiving there, which is unfortunate, but... Back to back 21Ks, pretty good, nice. Pretty good, yeah. Okay, next one here. Look away from the sign for the moment. Okay, so we have short antenna here again. This is just normal B-type, I would assume. Could it be very B? Uh, I think it's just B-type. We yeah. can look for smudges to confirm if you want. But... And there's our smudges, okay. So, pink flowers here. These kind of look a bit further north. Also, we have like a bit of this cabbage looking plant, so something like in this general area here i would expect pink flowers oh we have big hills okay so we may actually be quite off base here or i might be quite off base here with those big hills because you don't really tend to see them around here so much <laughs> there's not many of them there so uh now i'm thinking that we might be in asia i'm thinking we might be past the urals here um which is a bit confusing to me this is the first one where i feel quite stumped um, I guess we could look at the sign. It's not really helping, I think. Uh... Don't see anything. No. I... I'm, I'm bad at reading. <laughs> yeah, so am I. So I don't really have the patience for that. But, uh, yeah, a lot of pink flowers going on. Um, big mountains in the background. Oh, uh, so... Oh, quite a bit of Gen 3. I could see it being something... Like, maybe in this valley here, um, or, like, the Novosibirsk stuff. I'm just trying to think, may it be Urals? Because, uh, the reason I say that is because we have a lot of these pink flowers, which I didn't necessarily s associate with East, and also the cabbage, particularly. Associating with closer to Moscow, but I may have to ignore that in, in favor of these North Mountains, which, which may be, like, it's not Krasnoyarsk. Um, I don't think it's Novosibirsk. So, yeah, I guess I would just kind of go in one of these valleys here and, you know, maybe, like, here or something like that. I don't know. Where do you think this is? Uh, I think you're close. I would go, uh, Max South and Kemerovo here. Mm. Uh, like, maybe, like, the road to Mezhdrachensk or something. Uh, east oh, okay. of, uh... Sure. Yeah, yeah. So actually, not thinking too maybe far from where I was trying to go over here. Yeah. Uh, the reason I uh, was, like, going away from Camera River is because I thought it was mostly Generation 4, but I guess, like, down here is a bit Generation 3, right? Yeah, there's it's main, it is mainly Generation 4, but there is a few. Uh, like, this is max south, right? So the Gen 4 didn't go this far. Right. And there's also some Gen 3 further north. Uh, and I would also be considering uh, Gorno Altaisk. Oh, this uh, yeah. yeah, okay. But you'd expect mountains to be more south, but we can't really see them south, so 
it's a bit hard because like yeah uh and then also the cabbage you mentioned uh you also like i don't know if, what the reason is but for whatever reason camarovo and gorno altice could both have a lot of cabbage mm. so that's a bit of a bait round in some ways i would say because like i would definitely but yeah the, the pink flowers are crazy here as well yeah like i with that that i would definitely be going western russia so yeah difficult one let's see if uh, we're indeed right here and okay well let's tell you that. Wow. that okay. is interesting so uh anything to say there in hindsight i guess i guess pink flowers <laughs> yeah you pink gotta flowers trust them. Would be, we gotta <laughs> trust them i the cabbage is a little bit weird for yorls though mm, mm. uh but yeah hard rent fuck all sometimes russia's gonna do that to you Okay, next yeah. one here. Rocky on the... Immediately, just first thing I notice is Rocky on the side of the road here. Um, so that immediately makes me think of, like, Karelia and Murmansk. Um, and then, I guess... I was looking, it kind of looks like White Car, which is confusing me. Um, so I'm not really sure what to make of that. We also see a fairly large hill here. So, and also, like, these are... Like, how does it actually work with these? Are these more European bolots? Like, would you see these mostly in European Russia? Is that correct? Uh, yeah, usually like Asian uh, Russia bolots are like, like the thin honest. ones. Mm. Yeah, they're thinner and they're sometimes on a stick even. Right, and so I guess with all this in mind, um, like, I, I, like with the landscape, I want to go Magadan. And I'm a Monsk, I mean. And I think Momonsk does have white car, right? So it can be the case. But I guess with Generation 3, I would be thinking more Karelia. Nevertheless, I don't think... I think the hill's too big. And also, I'm not sure if white car exists there. So I think my ultimate send would be, like, southern Momonsk here on, like, a weird side road or something. I, I don't really know what I'd do here, but that's my main thought. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have the rocks. So Karelia yeah. and Momonsk would be the main thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think this is actually white car. I yeah. think it's just the sun. Yeah, I mean, it looks uh, very white, but I guess, yeah, it may, it may just be black. Indeed. Yeah, it's it, it can be hard to tell sometimes, but I would lean to it being black car. I would still go Murmansk, though, because it's just okay. absurdly hilly. Right, right. And right. It would, I would think it's just the yellow road not covered over. Right, okay, uh, right, gotcha. Just because it's a wide road. So we'll go like something the angle like this, is maybe. Suspicious. Yeah, I, it doesn't feel max. <laughs> I'm very scared of this round. <laughs> oh. Well, who knows? We'll go here. If you don't, if you're not feeling well, <laughs> then we can try that. Oh, uh, what's Corellia? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of curious about the car. Corellia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about the car here as well. So I guess it, yeah, it should be black car, but I want to see. Okay, and yeah, you can kind of tell in some of these frames. I want to get to the shadow, though, so I can see what color, you know, it would look like without the sun shining. Okay, well, are we actually going to be able to get to a shadow here? Apparently it's, uh, it's at midday. Where is, where is the shadows being cast, bro? Come on now. They're not long enough. Okay, I'm not really sure if we're actually going to get a shadow here, but you can tell here. I think that's black car, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it can be hard to tell the, white the sun. Car. White Karen and Romance will be uh, October coverage as well. And is it tilted antenna there as well? It's Yeah, it's slightly tilted right when it's White Karen and Romance most right. of the time at least. Yeah, I thought I remembered that too, so... Yeah, okay. Anyway. Uh, so we have a magazine here. Good to know. Um, we also have the blurred antenna, which is something we haven't come across this video yet. It's mostly south and, like, pre-Urals, like, from, like... Is it, like, Nizhny to um, Perm? Is that right? Uh, well, Nizhny itself won't have it, but you can yeah. get it in even Novo and Moscow, and then over towards Permanent Ufa, yeah. Yeah, and so it was a restart, like, just near Kazan or something, actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. So it's a very useful meta. Um, we don't really see much here. This is actually quite a difficult round, I would say. Um, it's actually maybe closer to Moscow, just, like, really tall trees and kind of, like, well-developed with, like, a... I don't know what's going on here, but, you know, kind of like a gated something. Yellow flowers as well. So, yeah, I want to try um, maybe even over here or Moscow. That would be my thought, I think. But just as easily could be, like, maybe Kirov or, you know, Izhevsk or something. What do you think? Uh, 
This yeah, this round is very low info. <laughs> yeah. Uh, urban is quite hard. Does it say anything on the thing to our northwest? Uh, it says Zogarod me. I don't I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh huh. Me neither. Yeah, I mean this can be anywhere <laughs> to me. I Huh. How much do you rate tall tree meta? Because when I sucked at Russia, I would often use tall trees to go like around Moscow. And these are yeah, it would tall. be more central. Mm. Uh, I would maybe consider like Kazan or something. We have like a, I mean, it's not the best meta, but to our west, we have a Kazan pine. I like oh, yeah. the small, like uh, a bit more. Uh, oh, these the small, ones are like wide branches. No, the, oh, this the one, small yeah. one by the sign. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So that's more common near Kazan, I would say, but there's only one of them, so. Right. Okay. Just you can try that. Small what about the yellow flowers? You, you choose to disregard them here. Uh, yeah. I mean, flowers, flowers can work, but these will be planted because we're urban, which is why urban is hard. Okay. Very good then. So we will go Kazan here. Let's see what it actually is. Okay. Well, it's Zhevsk. Okay. Zhevsk. Yeah. That's a hard round. Okay. Here we have bushfire coverage. And it's flat as well, so bushfire and flat should be like west of Yakutsk, generally speaking, or near Yakutsk. Um, and this road kind of goes all the way out to Mirny and then down to Lensk, right? Kind of ends there. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I guess with the north-south angle, I might be considering like on the way to Lensk. Uh, I feel like that feels decent. Uh, but then, what am I trying to remember now? You also were telling me about... No, I feel like this is Lensk. I feel like this looks like the Lensk coverage we looked at together. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think it, well, first, for, as for west or east of Yakutsk, it should be west because uh, as you go more east, the soil gets more volcanic. Mm. Uh, so it won't be this like lighter brown, it'll be like a black here, darker brown color. Right, yeah. So then it should be west then. Uh, it could be north of Yakutsk even, but uh, that's, it is possible. Uh, as for Lensk, Lensk is quite a bit more forested than this, I would say. Like, we're quite in an opening, which you wouldn't really see mm, on the okay. road down to Lens. Okay. So, I was maybe thinking, like, somewhere north of Sunter there. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, like, this road somewhere, just because it's not super forested. Mm. Uh, but the soil is almost north of Yakutsk, but the orange, like, fog is a bit more of a west thing. Right, yeah. And I'm just looking at the map, you can see that Lensk is actually, like, dark green a lot of the time here, so... Which indicates forest, so, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit less forested here. Makes sense, right? Mirny yeah. is, like, quite open, it looks like, from what the map shows. Yeah, Mirny, Mirny can have some open stuff, but it would... Yeah. Okay, should we it, send it here? It can be a bit random. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for here. Nice. Okay, tallish trees here. Kind of a bit of a Western Russia vibe, in my opinion. Kind of almost feels Baltic. Uh, the antenna here is just the plain antenna that doesn't actually have, like, a rib at the top. So, uh, that one's generally found, like, all around Moscow and south, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. so your type will be, like, uh, southeast of Moscow, north of it, northwest of it, and then in the south. Basically. That's pretty good for eliminating all of... Uh, everything east of Kazan will never have it. Right. Um, it's nice for that. And so, uh, it's kind of a difficult round. I might just, like, take a Tver or something like that here. Is, does Tver have it? Uh, yeah, everything northwest of Moscow, except for Leningrad, will have it. I'll take Tver, then. I'm not uh, really sure here. Yeah, I, I am unsure of this. I, I would. It feels a bit more north than Moscow, so yeah, it won't be, like, Ryazan or something, so... Yeah. I... I might even send, like, Vologda here, just with, like, how short some of the trees are. Right, Vologda being this one, yeah. Um, okay. I like that as well. Yeah, the trees aren't, like, the typical Moscow height. And I guess, like, I guess, like, I, when I'm t thinking about the height of trees, I'm more thinking about the pines than the birches, because we do have tall birches here, but I feel like that's a bit different, maybe. I don't know. I'm probably talking about my ass here, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncertain. Let's see it. Okay, it was south of Moscow, even. It was. Riazan? Vladimir. 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> right, but never on. reason. <laughs> never reason. Don't worry, yeah. boys. We, we're safe. <laughs> that was a bit more of a difficult seed, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Immediately, I was just thinking, like, maybe Ural, see a Chelly or something, just because uh, the amount of, like, purchase here and kind of the uh, coverage. We also have White Car, so that could fit with my thought. Um, but I guess it is kind of Autumnish as well. So that might make you think with a white car of something over here. So now I'm going to try and determine what I think, actually. The road is not terrible quality. So that's something. I also feel like we might have a bit more kind of dryness or something like that in um, where I clicked in Chelia, maybe. So for that reason, I think I actually would switch to over here. And would I? I don't know, I'm really going against my first vibe here, but... Hmm. It's still... Oh, that's a big hill. It's a big hill. Yeah, this is a... This okay, is a so hard maybe, maybe this is here, then. This could be that. Yeah, that, that's what I'm kind of thinking, because... It looks... It looks like North Australia to me, but the white car will only be South yeah. Australia, which... Yeah. Because, like, if, uh, if we saw a black car here, I think I would just go Chelly Bins. But, yeah, I guess, like, is it, like, uh, maybe the Beast or something like that instead? I, yeah, I was... My main thought would be, like, the road east of Beast. Right. Uh, the white road going here, there, maybe. Uh, that would be my main thought, but... I mean, the angle's actually better for the road north of it, so maybe it is the one north of it. Uh... Edge. Hmm, yeah, this is this is a hard round. Huh. Because, yeah, we have, like, the Siberian birches, I would say, that, like, look like they grow closer together. Yeah, that's right. They're in a kind of a clump. Classic, it's not, like, uh, guaranteed meta, method. but it's, like, pretty good meta for east of uh, Ufa. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, yeah. Huh, okay. yeah, this is, this is a weird one, though. Shall we try it? Yeah. Okay. Missing it ah, just. Okay. I mean, it was autumn, so I guess like yeah. this, this would also be autumn, right? So kind of this kind of 50-50. Yeah. Still a good score. Next one here, back in autumn coverage. This time, more of a west vibe, I would say. Although it could be actually oh. the same area. We'll see. Uh, okay, maybe I'm actually thinking the same area. I'm trying to see if we have any like birch clumps here as well. That could be one there. Hmm. Yeah, I think these kind of do feel a bit more eastern, maybe. So, yeah, I guess in this one, I would try Nobosibirsk, actually. Like, one of these roads here. Let's see if the angle's decent. Maybe not the best, but still could be, I think. Like, here or something. Um, second thought would be maybe over here, but I think it would. this is, like, too deep autumn, maybe, for that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, so with like the like just the grass to the north, it feels a bit drier to me. Okay. Uh, so I would be not really thinking like the western, like western oh. Russia for the most part. Yeah. Like I wouldn't think like Tula or something, which can have a lot of white hair fall coverage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be Chelyabinsk, but Chelyabinsk has a lot of like unpaved roads and mm -hmm. probably a bit too much trees for southern Chelyabinsk. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking, uh, Altai Cry, the road to, like, uh, Romanovo. Romanovo, uh, okay. So, yeah, this road here somewhere. Uh, um, and then, I guess, like, and then there's, like, I remember, like, having around with you once that was, like, what was it, in Northern Chelia that kind of looked like this, but was that Black Car? I can't remember. Uh, Northern Chelia or Northern Yekka? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I meant, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say Sosfa, that we wouldn't right like the uh, Sosva has super sunny coverage, which is uh, kind of a cringe meta, but uh, <laughs> I think the like the grass just feels a bit off from north, right? Yeah, it's uh, a bit dryish feeling, sure. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like cold climate, uh, and then just yeah, nice with the grass. I was thinking that road, but yeah, very good. Okay, cracked Finbar, guys. Uh, we got the A type antenna here. This also kind of gives me a bit of a Moscow vibe, I would say. 
Um, though, this one has potential to be more south. Um, so as we kind of... So let's look for... See if, we, see if we can see a birch here, I would say. Um, I still think it gives me more, like, Moscow vibes, even after, like, not seeing the kind of trees I was hoping to see, you know? Uh, okay. So... Thoughts would be, like... Yeah, I guess, like, where, where's it normally go? Like, Krasnodar or whatever? Krasnodar... Uh it type south. Uh, it's mainly like southern Krasnodar on the coast, mm -hmm. uh, but there's some in northern Krasnodar as well. So maybe like there. Yep. And then I guess other thought would be like, um, would it be like Tula or Kultula or Oriole or something like that? Is my main other thought. I think. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused, especially with the divided road. Yeah. Divided road with A type is like this is quite weird to me. Mm. I was even considering like Samara or something. Could it just be Moscow? Uh, it could just be Moscow, but it feels a bit drier. Uh, so like your southern vibe or my Samara vibe would be a bit yeah uh, would make a bit more sense yeah. Uh, just like a bit of sandiness, so maybe a bit more desert climate. It's kind of lining uh, up nicely then, here. Is it too yeah, I mean, every other? Yeah, probably too urban. Huh. Yeah, this is this is a hard run for me. Uh, yeah. It's not divided, I assume. Yeah. Okay, so hmm, what do you prefer overall? I think I would still go down here myself, just with these kind of like wide, leafy kind of looking southern trees, but I uh. I'm happy to defer to your better judgment here. Uh, well, like, I I would like south if it wasn't divided. Yeah. But I feel like I have seen this south and divided. Like a type, a type south divided seems super weird to me. Okay. Uh, but I am not really certain here. Yeah, this is a confusing round. So, do you think like? Oriole or something wouldn't have a divided highway like this or something. Well, I just, I just don't think like the I mean you're getting a southern vibe right, so that would like yeah, I don't know off. the climate just feels a bit off. Sure, sure. Like Samara is north, but it's like closer to the desert in Kazakhstan if you get me, so it doesn't yeah. feel as north as some of Oriole and stuff. That's true. Okay, where should we send? Your choice. I, uh, I go I go Samara, but I'm scared of like southern Oriole or even Max South. Nice, cool. How is that divided highway? Interesting. On a white road. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah, that's a weird one. <laughs> Definitely so. Okay, we got the uh, we got a bit of an interesting meta here: the black car short antenna. So basically, the normal short antenna without the black car kind of ceases after crossing the ask. But the black car short antenna can be found in most major cities, even all the way to Vladivostok. So yeah, we could be there. Um, just a possibility. And then when, oh, actually we have an Asian car here, which is also a pretty good meta for that kind of side of Russia. And we have the A-type antenna here, which is more common in the East as well. Uh, and then trees are also not, like, we don't really have any birches, I think. So this could actually be close to Vladivostok, like I was thinking, or even in there. Uh, so now I'm kind of looking for which side the steering wheel's on. Seems like it's on the right, so... Again, that kind of fits for Far Eastern Russia, where they import the Japanese cars. So, yeah, I guess my two main thoughts here would be Vladivostok or Khabarovsk. And I'm just going to see if I can see anything flat enough here. Yeah, the flatness is a bit... Yeah, it's a bit, a bit concerning. weird for Vladivostok, so maybe yeah. Khabarovsk would make more sense. I think it does. But, I think it does. Yeah, the Asian cars would be the main thing here. Urban Russia can be quite hard without... Uh, Cars. <laughs> yeah, indeed it can. So maybe like this kind of thing here. There are a few angles yeah. here that can fit, so I don't mind this. Yeah, that, I mean, that could be the 5k even. <laughs> like, it's divided road, probably. Yeah, yeah, on the map, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like that's good. Um, you would see, you do normally see some birches, I would say, as as far north as Kabarovsk, right? So, I guess it's a... Yeah, but we or... are urban, so urban, yeah. it's like... Urban, yeah. This could even be like Irkutsk or something. <laughs> it could I don't be, know. This yeah. this round does not have much information for me. 
That's right. I mean, I just saw like a high density of Asian cars. So yeah, yeah. So with that, with yeah, that, like Subaru. I mean, they they have really cool cars in uh, in some of these far eastern cities. That yeah, they got <laughs> like the Japanese tuners. It's kind of sick. Cool. Okay, this I'm car sure. as well, super common in Hokkaido. I saw that this exact model everywhere in Hokkaido. <laughs> so I guess like we're not far. Like, and it wasn't on the mainland either. So kind of interesting. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Of Chevs, Chev, 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 Chev. Blagovich. <laughs> yeah, that's a. That's a hard round. Urban East is it's quite hard to tell which city without like trying to line up the 5k. Right, and I it's didn't know like... that they would have the black car shot and turn of this, so that's kind of interesting too. Yeah, most of, most like the biggest city in each oblast will have it East. Right. Okay, that's uh, B type antenna here, normal B, I would say. Confirm. Do we have smudge. smudge. Yep. Yeah, we have smudge. So. Uh, lots of birches going on here. Yeah. Uh, this is very generic, bro. Couple of flowers. We got some of the small trees, so... Almost, like, thought maybe near Kazan for that reason. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would, like, hedge it, um, Nizhny. Um, or maybe I would go... Like... I don't know. I think I would hedge it in Nizhny here, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I like... I like Nizhny, uh, or Chebuxari a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the like, Kazan looking trees, I would say it would be rarer like east of the Orals. And then, yeah. like, if we were to go like closer to the Orals, it would all be blurred antenna. So then, right. yeah. Uh, this is, That's kind of why I like Nizhny uh, Chuvashia area. Which but it could. It, I, with the uh, like thinness, I mean, how. With, yeah, with the thinness of the road, I feel like Nizhny has got like a bit more like uh, built up roads. So maybe Chuvaksari with that in mind. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm still, it, I can still see Yekaterinburg, but uh, the birches don't feel particularly east, and then the uh, smaller like planted pine trees, Kazan things, would be more here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was just ah, over there in Saransk. Not a bad guess though. And there we go, another 18k, not too bad. Okay, we'll do one more on no moving, and then we'll head through to some NMPZ kind of things here. Okay, yeah. this is distinctive. So, NMPZ, I immediately thought we were on this road here, which is kind of Altai Mountains plus a bit of rainy coverage and very overcast, so I like that. Also, like, like nice quality road, so yeah, I think it's good here yeah, immediately. Um, this would be the type of round where I'm pretty happy to just look at the uh, road angle. Also, the car's driving north, northwest here, so that also fits, because I think it switches over right in Atkash or somewhere It can be here. driving... It can be driving both ways south of Akhtosh, Okay, I think. Right, right, right. It's good to know, actually. Uh, but yeah, I might just go, like, here or something. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Happy? Yeah, uh, should be correct, yeah. Nice. Uh, downtown Akhtosh. Next one here. Ooh, big smudge here. Uh, I don't know why, I just had like a immediate thought, I don't think it's right, but I had an immediate thought for Bratsk, I'm not sure if that's so possible uh, here, we'll see. Yeah, um, you, you 5 would <laughs> Okay, nice, nice, nice. I it guess it was be, just... It should be east of Bratsk. The it pavement was, is there. Yeah, the pavement, the kind of reddishness of the soil. I feel like I've seen that smudge there before as well. And then also, is this something, is this the same as the kind of like weirdly swivelly road that we saw before here as well? Or is this different? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's kind of like more likely to be east in general, I guess. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah. And yeah, the pavement and the thinness of the trees with the red soil all feel good for Brant because it's kind of north. I think, yeah, the road east maybe, just with the angle. Yeah. Okay, got uh, that. Nice. Yes. Nice. Guess. nice. Okay. Uh, very interesting here. Generation four, but like I'm expecting no red car here. So I would say that this is something in now. What's it called again? In um, Boryatia. Boryatia. Uh, this almost though looks like it might have been, like the road through here. Kind of seems similar to that, but the mountains aren't big enough. I think so. Yeah, there you'd have, like, defining yeah. mountains north and south of you. Yeah. In which case, then... I'm not really sure which side of Ulan Uda to go here, but I am pretty sure I'm right that it is Beretia. 
Um, and I guess my vibe here. Hmm, there is some. There's some meta, isn't there? I can't remember what. I'm gonna go north just because I think it's slightly more likely, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, I would say the greener it is, the more like there's a lot greener stuff south than north, but there's also some dry stuff south and some dry stuff north. Right. Uh, so I was thinking like south near Pechora or something. Pechora. Uh, southeast of your markers. Hmm. Uh, How far? A little bit. <laughs> You're on it. You're oh, okay. on it there for a second. Okay. Send it. And then a bit. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just like the greenest. And then like the hills felt more like there as well, but that's kind of like. It's quite hard to reach and guess the Oblast. Mm, yeah, indeed. Yeah, I've always had trouble with that. I mean, this road's a bit more distinctive, but yeah. Uh, okay, this I we have the tilted antenna. Tilted and blurred antenna, right? So that's kind of rare. Um, you see that quite a lot yeah. in the south, the tilted and blurred antenna. I think that's like kind of kind of a lot in Patagorsk, right? Um, then you also see some tilted blurred antenna. Is it like Tambov or something like that, maybe? Which one is it? I, I think you're thinking of unblurred. Tilted blurred will only be Volgograd and Leningrad, Karelia. Oh. Oh, Volgograd, right. Uh, right. Oh yeah, this. So we're actually in Volgograd here. Yeah, it ca it makes sense as well, just with like short vegetation, so feeling kind of like dry climate. Uh, it's pretty good road quality. So I was thinking the road north of the road that goes to Saratov, just for how good the road quality is. Right. Five uh, k. Yeah. Um, Surely. <laughs> and then also, like, okay, so I was thinking down here, there's a mix of, like, tilted and blurred. So, unblurred, tilted, and blurred. So, yeah, that's why I was confused, I guess. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Next one here. Immediately, like, kind of Eastern Russia, like, just kind of Generation 4 between Chumen and kind of Krasnoyarsk kind of area to me. Let's see what color car is. Got the red car. Uh, maybe thought of, like, Novosibirsk here. East to west. Can certainly work. Something like that, maybe. Uh, just as easily... Um... Oh, I'll see. I'll say. I'll say here, actually. <laughs> I get those two yeah. cities mixed up. But yeah. We can go, like... Here, or something like that, maybe. How do you feel about that? Uh... Yeah, I'd go a little bit more east on the road you're on, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's a perfectly flat, straight road, so it's, like, very hard to reach and guess it. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's perfectly flat, a lot of birch trees. We have, like, a, trees with, like, no leaves on them, mm. which I'm not sure what causes it, but you get them a lot in Novosibirsk and Omsk. Mm. Uh, so Even that would feel it's kind of like warmer. Well. Even though it's a warmer season, yeah. Like yeah, and it's like, June, it's like, it's like, it's a really fertile area as well, so it's a bit weird. Right. Like the soil is, like, super rich. Mm. So it's a bit, I'm not sure what causes it. Maybe, like, pesticides or something. Well, let's try but and get, let's try and, uh, let's try and pick the angle here, because we can get a 24k if we do. Is I did, uh, <laughs> you're gonna hate me saying this, but I did learn the sun direction for this road, so if you look at the sun, I can <laughs> reach and guess the road. So that's directly uh, south, basically, no? Okay, I'd go slightly west of Kargat. Kargat. Or downtown Kargat, I'd say. Kargat. Where is that? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so it's stretch. close to here. Yeah. Do we see any uh, bend? Okay, that's maybe a bend over there to our west, going a bit... Hmm. Hard to say. And then over this direction... Okay, we do have a bend there. So... We would be here then, basically. Yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> Got a twenty-four K. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> well, that, that was, was a good thing. The cringiest meta yeah. of all time. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, in my defense, it's a perfectly straight road that's completely flat and looks the exact same across the entire thing. So I learned the sun direction. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game, bro. Finn Basketball. Right. Um, I could have even done better here. Like, I didn't really try there. So, you know, that was a really good seed. 
and then Finbar just yeah. go on the go on the road every other round. So <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, okay, so now with that twenty four k behind us, I think we should do some ten second NPZ. See what uh, what I fail like, shall we? Yeah. Do you want to do one, and then I'll do one, or are we yeah, done? sure. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go here. For, I'll go for the first seed. Um, immediately just thought like near Moscow with the high quality road uh, and kind of lush vegetation. So I'll just send it. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah. Not really any logic to that. But we got this. We got the oblast though, so we'll take that. Random gen four, and if you don't, if you're not certain on where it is, just click Moscow. Yeah. Uh, this is difficult now. I just think somewhere out here, Yeka maybe. I don't know. Okay. That is that is hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I was getting that. Like, if if maybe if I, I thought of it, but <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I also thought Yeka. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a that's a weird cleaning brush. The student learns from the master well and makes his mistakes <laughs> too. <laughs> uh, this is like kind of a south vibe ish. I I don't know. With that much time, I might try Rostov or Krasnodar here. Maybe Rostov. Okay, not too bad. It was tilted left, so oh, Belgrade is like ninety nine percent of the tilted left in Russia. So okay, yeah, it's a really strong matter. <laughs> Forgot to check. Oh, well, we have tilted left here, but I don't think it's Belgorod, right? So yeah, yeah, it won't be. There's one other oblast that I was thinking maybe here. I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay, Yaroslav. Yeah, even <laughs> Ovo and Yaroslav would be tilted left, but uh, I meant to say last time ninety nine percent of the tilted left fall coverage is Belgorod. Yeah. There's always an asterisk with these things. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. The summer coverage would be a lot in even over Yaros level. Right. Very dark soil here is confusing me. I, I, I think it actually might be like further south here, like Astrakhan, Volgograd something. Oh, uh, Volgograd, okay. Yeah, that's a common enough 50 50, those two. Yeah. And so 12k. Okay, now we'll do you. You can, uh, you can shout out on my screen, so even out of difficulty here. And you have to get me to click, so this is, this is high intense stuff, you know, you have to be quick. Alright, where are we going? Blood antenna. Uh, uh, Ishevsk. Ishevsk, boom. No, Ishevsk. Nice, ooh, sick. <laughs> nice, good start, good start. Udmurtia, is that what it's called? Hmm. Udmurt Republic. Never heard of that. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Round pole. Uh... Tula. I. Oh, it was. I uh, was gonna go the Krasnyarsk right here, but it's so good. I thought it. I thought it looked like uh, so good, but the antenna threw me off. But there's some. There's some. It was tilted right. There was mm. some very little. There's some very uh, little tilted right in Sergut. Oh, I should have gotten that. <laughs> Damn. Because I thought, oh, this kind of looks like North Yeka, but it's tilted. So that, that is. Yeah. That is tragic. That is tragic. All right. I met a slave the antenna. <laughs> you did. You did. White car, maybe? White uh, flowers. Magnitogorsk, South Chelya. South Chelya, Magnitogorsk. Boom. 5 k Nice. That felt quite distinctive. I mean, with the white car, really helps there. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't look at the car, but oh, <laughs> the really? soil. Damn. Uh, B-type. I thought Kurgan... Can't Kurgan or Tumen, I can't tell the antenna. Okay, yeah, Tried to help you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, we, we, we didn't make it. We didn't make it. Look at that. Lee. We did. Yeah. The oblast was yeah. shaped just so that we could get our streak. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Uh, Camarovo. Easy Camarovo here. Okay. If I can find it. Go like here, maybe. Yeah, a bit further south. Okay. Uh, well, that talking. was a very solid seed. Um, if you had of called out so good, it would have been insane. Yeah, it would have been insane. Okay, back to me for one, and then we'll do one more for you. It's for the 10 off the video. Okay, this is definitely here to me. Orsk, Orenburg. I'll go Orsk here. Oh no, I was really sure because it was so hilly, but it was just by the river hills. I'll restart. Yeah. I didn't check the antenna to be fair, I didn't even look, so probably would have helped. Yeah, the antenna would help. Um, <laughs> this is hard. I have a crazy guess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, uh, Gen 4 downtown city is the hardest coverage in Russia. Yeah. Uh, just because it's like, 
all those trees are, could be planted, and yeah. <laughs> now we're restarting again. We need a bad score. <laughs> <laughs> Two terrible starts. Not gonna, not gonna fly under my radar, buddy. Uh, kind of yellow outside lines. Here. I don't know. I don't, I'm just going off vibes. I kind of, kind of look felt like Smolensk or something. Let's try it. Okay, not too bad. One. one yeah, good, good vibes. Uh, this is, I think, Petropavlovsk. I don't know. Just the way everything feels. Paved roads, so maybe a bit further south here. Yes, close, I think. Oh. Yeah. Northern Khabarovsk. Hmm. I guess like it didn't. I didn't see any evidence of hills, nor did, and there was a lot of trees, but. I don't know. Yeah, the trees were a bit tall for. Uh... Yeah. Okay. okay, it would maybe just go like Belgorod or Bryansk or something here. Yeah, I like Belgorod. That okay. uh, was Bryansk. <laughs> Eternal 50-50 Eastern Bryansk. Uh, we have like lots of Kazan trees here, so I'm definitely trying that area. Just gonna go Kazan, actually. Oh, no. Barrow. Oh, what? We that were... is a crazy rant. <laughs> Inside I was like, going a uh... strip of forest. Yeah, I was not going there. <laughs> That's crazy. I was going Yoshkar next to you, so... Damn. That's... that's hard. Yeah, we have these kind of, uh, more western-looking flowers. It's kind of very sandy, though. I don't know. I'll try Yaroslavl. Not too bad. Yeah, good guess. Okay, we have to go again, though. That was too terrible. Two bad guesses. <laughs> I mean, the, the Altai round is impossible. <laughs> okay, this is more like a dark soil blood antenna. Just send it in perm, baby. Nice. Nice. This one, we got the kind of like, uh, this stuff. Morning coverage, although the running was weird. I'll try, I'll leave it, leave it there, I think. Okay, it's fine. Cooking, cooking, nice. cooking. Yeah, yeah. On for a nice car. White car. Oh, what is this? What the frick is this, bro? I think it's somewhere around here. I'm not really sure where, though. We'll try this. Leave it like that. Yeah, you're close. Nice, dude. Keep it up. You're actually cooking. This could be insane. Oh, what is that though? Maybe not Kemerovo. Oh no, it's not. I don't know. It's not Omsk, bro. I don't know what this frick is. This, oh no, pens are green yeah. coverage. It was skewed with like white carrot. It's like if it's not if you can see the white carrot, it becomes easier. But that was like a skewed lock. You weren't even looking at the road. <laughs> yeah, that no, that was actually just mean, bro. And I, it was a hard round to get to begin with because it's so green. So yeah, and that oh. Okay, I think I know. It must be Sochi, I imagine. I yeah, I might Sochi. go Adigea even, but it yeah. should be close to here. Okay, nice. Okay. Well, nice. I freaking did a good job, but just missed out. Yeah, there. you basically. What happened to me as well? We're yeah. four amazing rounds and then one hard one. This is a very forgiving seed. Super forgiving. But, um, but I still took the most. I still took the most of it and I, you know, missed the hard round, so. <laughs> okay, fin yeah, bars yeah. up. See it. Uh, Perm, maybe? Ooh, interesting call out there. Just downtown? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, that was Not my 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. So what makes you say Perm the, the, there? Because that, to me, that's... I wouldn't go there. Uh, well, I wasn't sure if we could see antenna or not, but it was August, Gen 4 coverage, and then uh, the grass just felt Perm. Right, and okay, like really so... Nice. So this would, yeah, you, would really you wouldn't nice. really expect this for, like, the West stuff, you reckon? Yeah, it didn't feel like Western Russia. Right. I felt more... Uh, my my main two thoughts were Kazan, Perm, and then my third one would be Chelyabinsk, but without Antenna. Because if, if I don't see Antenna, I'm sending Kazan here, but NMPC, obviously. Mm. Uh, what's interesting to me about this round is, like, a lot of nice-looking houses and a BMW. Like, does Kazan have money? <laughs> uh, maybe. Like, this area does, apparently. That's interesting. Oh, is this Orenburg, southeast of downtown oh. city? Oh, Orenburg, sorry. That's uh, the city, yeah, yeah, there. Oh, what? That's crazy. <laughs> I was going, I was going Ulan Uda, which <laughs> is no better. <laughs> Can I have a reset? Or... Yeah, you gotta restart, <laughs> you need to you gotta restart, yeah. I if I got two, then you get one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Yamalo County border. Yamalo side, but yeah, there. Okay. 
uh, other side. <laughs> Damn it. What is this? Thick Earthlands. Is this... Cr I too loud, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Oh, it was that, but it's divided. Yeah. Okay, that makes so much sense. The divided just... It made my brain explode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was not expecting to see divided there. Because, like, the, it's like... It's usually it's usually a short antenna, but for whatever reason, that's not covered over. I mean, that's only, like, 100 meters of divided highway there. What the heck? <laughs> the bridge is left so east, but fall coverage on a divided highway east is crazy to me. Mm. Uh... Bro, Biro Bidjan maybe? Or a more? A more, a more. Oh no. Oh, oh no, you were, cooking, you were cooking, you were cooking. You were cooking. That's funny. I was getting one point on that round. <laughs> if that, bro. <laughs> okay, this is this is Sakhalin then, I guess. <clears throat> uh... South? Oh. Ugligorsk, classic. One of my favorite towns in Russia, bro. <laughs> Ugligorsk, nice, nice. Oh, uh, east of Sergut, uh, the city beginning with N. I forgot the name of it. There's Nervatosk. Nice, dude. I was going Moscow. Okay, 16k. Saved your reputation a little bit there, Finbar. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. No restarts, though. Just to, just to finish out here. Just going to do assisted or no? Okay, we can do assisted. Oh, what? Why is it blurred? Is this bro? south of Abakan? Oh, is it blurred? Then yeah. cheetah. Oh, frick. Uh, oh, uh, that's... that's head. <laughs> that's un... Yeah, that's it's like a red Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Impossible. It looked like South of Abakan, but... Similar vibe. This east is... Trees. Magadan. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, like... Uh, east of the city, maybe? towards Ola. Yeah, I knew it was, like, something on the coast there. Oh. Oh, it's west, damn it. I remember that, like... I remember there was very similar around there. Though. Yeah, the east and west looks the same. Uh, looks Ishevsk? like, yeah, it's Shevsk Ufa. I'd lean like Ufa side of the border though, but like near Shevsk. Nice, nice. South. Uh, I thought like Novosibirsk or something, Ooh. or like Samara. I'm leaning Samara now, but maybe too oh, late. Yeah. Oh well. Nice. Okay, it was Camarillo. Nice. Okay, it's good. It's good. Uh, uh Krasnoyarsk asteroid? Right? Ever? Maybe Kemerovo. I think Kemerovo instead. But it could be Krasnoyarsk asteroid right up to you. More north. Ah, uh, uh, it was great. Scythe on the Krasnoyarsk asteroid right? looks like Kemerovo to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, what the heck? Is it the Krasnoyarsk asteroid? Yeah. Oh. Drilling. Nice. Um, I well, threw that. Uh, Nearly, oh, I, I feel like we could have broken 20k, but I threw it. We could have. We freaking could have. All right, but you have to see <laughs> it on another episode, guys, because we're ending it there. Thanks for playing Finbar. Go check out his channel. We'll have it linked in the description if you want to see more Russia stuff. Uh, anything okay. to add before we uh, fin finish off there? Uh, no, but uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Peace, guys. Thanks for making it to the end. Bye.